we have the opportunity with something like this, if you want to do taste things. So you've taken what would have been a difficult corner actually, yeah. and put it and put it to good use. Yes. And yeah. beautiful uh, premium yes. single malts that I'm seeing over yes. there. Yes, and and uh, and and and, and, uh, and then we finish with after the single malts, we finish with the spirits. So overall, it's it's a more spacious environment. So even though the the area did not change when you did the renovation. The area square meter to square meter is exactly the same as it was you know, before the renovation. You have a greater feeling of space, you know, because of lighting, better lighting and lighter colors, you know, better you know, circulation areas and more attractive enjoyery and more opportunities for the brands to prevent them so more emotional areas, better organization in terms of the cash registers you know, self-service options. You know, we don't do that many self-service transactions. You know, we probably, you know, uh, in each self-service counter, we may do 20 or 30 transactions a day, but at least you have the option of doing self-service. Yeah. And if we just stop here for a moment, I mean, these are quite show-stopping yeah. Yeah. HPPs, aren't they? Really yeah. nice. Yeah. And, a, you know, a message of newness, yeah. beautifully presented. Yes. Yeah. Interesting innovation, Tumblr yeah. and Sauvignon yeah. Blanc. Yeah. Uh, not something you'd expect to see yeah. in terms of uh, whiskey expressions. Absolutely. In a day, we would do 1,500 transactions in the shop. Yeah. But this is a relatively quiet time because we have one peak, which is in the evening, you know, from about 7, 8 p.m. and until about midnight. Then another peak around 2 a.m. Then a peak around 6 to 8 a.m and then a bit of a peak in the early part of the afternoon. Yeah. So the time from about 9, 10 in the morning till about 12, 31 is generally the quietest. And then as you can see, you know, it starts to, starts to build up. Last year was an absolutely spectacular year, yeah. you know, for Dior, for Louis Vuitton, for Chanel, for Cartier. Cartier. Our Cartier boutique here at one time last year was the best performing airport boutique in the world. No, really. And, and the and the Cartier boutique is a good example of the fact that if you offer a better experience, a better retail offer, better service, a better ass assortment, you know, you will do amazingly well in an airport and run in there. You know, with a strong brand, of course, you know, but we are able to give them the space that it deserved, and then the performance all of it. But we are just concerned that at the time of at the time of you know weakening sentiment, you know, all the brands are going to struggle a bit. So so from our, so what I would say to a brand partner should be that it's also a time for more engagement with customers, you know, more making more use of whatever customer data that they have and just working a little bit harder.